and time. Hello, judges. I'm very honored, not just to be the German representative, but also to welcome you in my home city. So welcome to Berlin. Now, I've got some menus for you. Please have a look at the front. They include information about coffee and my drinks. And then I want you to take a second and realize that today in the morning you woke up on a beautiful summery day in the city that I love. I'll be right back for you. So, Berlin is a city where a lot of things happen at the same time, and sometimes that might be a little bit confusing. But don't worry, I'll walk you through this, okay? So, what you need to know now is that I'm preparing a coffee for your second drink. So, all you need to know is that I'm leaving it here for three minutes, and I'm giving you all of the information later, okay? So, Berlin, hi. You came at the right time of the year because Berlin in summer is amazing. People are outside on the street and they're really enjoying the good vibes. Now, to give you a proper Berlin experience, I want to make you a really fun and refreshing cocktail, which is based on two double shots of espresso. Whilst I pull those shots, I'm also going to give you a couple of more information about the coffee that are also on your menus already. I'm perching. Now, the coffee that I'm using is a natural processed Katura from the Finca, Pana, from the Finca de Brujan, Panama, sorry. And this coffee has an amazing taste profile of, please write down, sweet tropical fruits, of dark chocolate. It has a very creamy mouthfeel that reminds me on a caramel fudge and just such an intense body and sweetness to it. All due to the hard work they do at the farm level. Now for my espressos, I'm using a recipe of 22 grams of coffee in my porter filters. and 38 grams out. And I'm aiming for an extraction time of around about 27 seconds. So now we know the base of my coffee, of my drink. Let's make this as, as much fun as possible. To highlight the natural, uh, the natural aspects of my coffee, I chose a Tete Sake. And I'm using 3CL of this. This has very nice hints of fresh plum. The next ingredients that I'm using is going to give you a very creamy, velvety mouthfeel. This is 1CL of a PX cherry. And then I've made a rum infusion based on a cold brew that I made with the Panama coffee and I added vanilla and tonka bean. I'm adding one CL of this. Now, all of those ingredients really highlight the natural aspect of my coffee. And now I'm going to lift up all of those flavors by adding two CL of the Meridor gin. Now this is going to combine all of my ingredients and it's going to give you a very nice elderflower note. I'm going to shake this drink to get the right temperature and a very, very creamy, smooth mouthfeel. Now, all of those ingredients are available in Berlin. So 
I would recommend to serve this drink in either a specialty coffee shop here in Berlin that focuses on coffee and good spirits, or on a, in a specialty, on a um, high-end cocktail bar. And I'm single straining to get the best cream out of this drink. Now, this drink comes with a couple of drinking instructions. I want you to take three small sips of this drink. So your first sip will have a temperature of seven degrees. You will taste, please write down, peach and elderflower. Your second small sip will all be slightly warmer with uh, eight to nine degrees. And as your temperature changes, your taste changes. And you will then taste peach iced tea. And then in your third and final sip, you swirl the glass two times and then take your last sip. We now have reached a temperature of nine to 10 degrees and you will taste chocolate, pomegranate, peach, elderflower, and a long lasting aftertaste of tonic. Enjoy. Oh. Now, judges, I hope you enjoyed this Berlin summer experience, but you know what? Once this competition is over and you all go home, we, the Berliners, we still have to stay here, and winter will come, a very gray and cold time, where all we are longing for is warmth and comfort. And I want to give you a glimpse of Berlin winter by showing you my favorite warm coffee cocktail, the hot buttered coffee rum. Now, the coffee that I'm using for this is all about body and sweetness. It's a Brazilian coffee, the information is over here. It's a red catuai natural process from the Finca Santiago. And it has an amazing taste profile of, please write down, dark chocolate, dark cherries, and almonds. Now, the butter that I've added is my homemade Christmas butter. The recipe is on the other side of your menus. I'm using eight grams of a butter made with a sherry reduction and, and brown butter. 0.2 grams of salt and 2.5 grams of black Moscovado sugar. Now, to highlight these dark cherry flavors, I'm adding one bar spoon of an apricot syrup. The rum that I'm using is an eight-year-old El Salvadorian rum called Chichua Tang, and I'm adding one CL, and it aged in ex barbon casks, which gives it a very nice vanilla note. And my final ingredients is a nut liqueur, a local nut liqueur, which is going to highlight all of those beautiful nut flavors and give you a sensation of like walking over a Christmas market in Berlin in winter where nuts are all around. Now, I'm mixing everything up to get the right consistency. So, I would either serve this drink on a Christmas market in Berlin, or as I'm taking your preheated cups from the coffee machine, in a specialty coffee shop that focuses on coffee and good spirits. This drink comes with a couple of drinking instructions, so please write down. Take three sips, one small, one medium, one small. Your first sip will have a temperature of 55 degrees. You will taste salted caramel fudge. Your second sip will be slightly bigger and therefore warmer, so you will have a temperature experience of 58 degrees, and you will taste dark cherries and milk chocolate. And in your third and final sip, because it's going to be small again and we lost temperature, you will have a very long aftertaste of a caramel cream bonbon. Feel free to eat the cookie to complete your Berlin experience. And thank you so much for letting me take you on this Berlin journey. It was a real pleasure. Time. Yeah.